Okay, time for an unexpected unboxing. This order came in a day early, actually. I was really surprised when I saw the mailman walking up to my house. So let's open it up. Oh, and a big, I think I know what this is. So big thanks to Todd for letting me know about these. These are plants that have been on my wish list. So here they are, and they are really tiny. These are uh, Sidera japonica, or Nagolan. Oops, of course they're from Japan, if I can focus. There we go. And they, uh, they have sphagnum moss and they're very dry, poor things, so I will water them and I will pot them up. I might do two different types of pots. I've read these guys are actually hard to take care of, I hope not. So I'm going to try two different medias, one standard like Phalaenopsis Phalaenopsis mix and uh, maybe like a more inorganic rocks and uh, well yeah we'll see. All right so my Sideria japonicas are repotted now. Let me get this pink light off. There we go. And I did do, I just kept them in their original baskets. And this one is in like a regular Phalaenopsis mix with very little sphagnum moss, uh, orchid bark that you get at the hardware store, and perlite and a little bit of uh, charcoal. So that's in that mix. And it's planted kind of on its side and high because I've heard that uh, they're prone to crown rot from the bottom or something like that. But you don't want them standing in water or anything. So, I don't know. I am new to these plants and I hear they're difficult so I don't want anything to happen to them. And this guy over here is potted in orchigata bark and uh, charcoal. And that's just about it, really. Same thing, kind of on its side, so it doesn't get crown rot. And I wonder if I should have put some kind of a lava rock in there, too. I'm not a fan of these net pots because they dry out so easily. And I'm just the kind of person... I don't like to water plants a hundred times a day. I don't want to. I, uh... I set my plants up. I'm used to nepenthes that retain moisture for a long time and get watered once a week. So hopefully these guys will do well. And I like them because of the uh, the flower that they get. And I'll post a picture. It's amazing. It looks like a anthropomorphic bird with a Victorian collar. In fact, I should even draw what I imagine this bird to look like compared to the flower. It even has little eye spots that look like it's kind of like a white version of Scary Fear. It's really cool. So kind of a mix of Bullet the Budgie and Scary Fear. And that's why I like this. Is a, Bullet the Budgie is a, in my universe is a very prissy, girly girl, but tough budgie. <laughs> and another cool thing is that these plants were a gift from Chris. Uh, it's interesting because, uh, yeah, again, Todd told me about the seller on eBay, and that night I told Chris that I wasn't doing so well on funds, and I wanted to get two of them. He said, go ahead, he would buy them for me. And I got up the next morning, and they were gone. <laughs> I was really disappointed. And I wrote to the seller and asked him if he would have any more, if he would relist or whatever. I never heard anything back. But I went and I checked on his uh, eBay store, and then they were back. So I told Chris about it, and he's like, go ahead, get them. And he got them for me, so these are a gift from my husband as well. I love that. Now these are tiny plants, but I don't care that they're not adult size because they're blooming already. They've got buds. So I hope the buds will open, and what I'm also excited about the fact that they look like weird little alien birds is that uh, they're supposed to smell like citrus, and that would be wonderful. I guess growing up in Florida all my life, I just, uh, when winter rolls around and we get the citruses in bloom and all those flowers, those white flowers are out, it just smells so 
good and I don't know of any other plant that smells that way so if we could get this guy to do that that would be awesome okay so that is the update and unboxing and these guys will eventually go outside okay hope you guys enjoyed that desk signing off